Pimp My Storage, episode one. Here we go. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a, a time lapse. So here we have the 8x15. Tried to see if it would work, um, but you'll see me set up the lights in there and you'll see how, how cramped I am, really. So here we have a lot more space. This is inside of a 10 by 10, which is just allowing me to put the lights on either side of them. Basically my goal. So yeah, we only had one interruption, getting a free light stand. That's all this in storage he didn't want. Sure. So I just loaded it up and brought it home, you know, so. Right on. To our place. Uh, good, good to know, I guess, for now, so. Yeah. Right that on. one goes, that's the biggest one we have there. It goes hella high. Sheesh. Right on. I'm glad somebody can use them. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You, when I come back, I'll give you a buzz and we'll hook up and something. I'll, I'll, get, I'll give it to you. Perfect. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call my boy right now and tell him not to get rid of the stuff up there. Perfect. Well, I'm going to go downstairs. I just brought that one up for you. Yeah, All right, guys. I'll get a hold of you as soon as I get back next week. All right. Alrighty. So these are some of the shots. Definitely tell me what you think in the comments. And the last thing I want to end with is the proper way to mount and dismount your Octabox or Softbox. So here's what it looks like. You put it on the ground and doing it this way with your speed ring or whatever adapter you have, it'll prevent you from breaking shit and just trying to lift it above your light stand and working with all that mess. So yeah, here you go. What the f-